-hmm. you take pictures that look like the top row of this slide, they're dark, they're crooked, they just don't look good. I want to show you how in just a couple of clicks, you can make them look bright and beautiful like the ones on the bottom. All sorts of programs can do this. I'm going to show you Google Photos and know that Google Photos actually comes in three versions. There's the app for the Android, the app for the iPhone, and there's the web version on the computer. Also know that Google Photos is changing all the time. So depending on when you're watching this video, your screen might look a bit different. Just hunt for the different buttons. What I'm teaching you here is still will still be valid. You just need to find where they've moved the buttons. So I want to start by taking a photo. I'm going to use my iPhone and just take a photo of Jim and me here. All right. And I'm going to edit that photo just using the phone. The first thing to know is to go to look at the photo you might be tempted to stay on the camera and just tap this little miniature in the corner. But no, if you do that, you're looking at the Apple Photos, the editing that came with your phone native. That's not what we're using. Google Photos is an app that you must install on the iPhone. So after you take a picture, go back out to your home screen and use the Google Photos. This is the Apple Photos that I'm referring to, the native one. I'm going to open Google Photos, and there is that picture I just took. Now, how could I make that better? Let's see. There's a lot of clutter in this. How about if we crop it just to my face? I tap on the Edit button. That's down at the bottom. And then Crop. And then I can just drag the corners so it's just my face, and I save. You have a choice of save or save a copy. I don't like making copies, so I just save. However, what if I decide, you know, I do want Jim back in this picture. All you have to do is go back into edit, and then there is a revert option, and you save, and it's back to the original. Now, how about those pictures that were dark and crooked? Here they are but I would rather work with the big screen of the computer. So let's show you how to do that. On the computer, there is no software for Google Photos. You just go to the website, photos.google.com, or you can search for Google Photos and you'll find it. As long as you are signed in with the same account here as you were on the phone, you will be seeing the same pictures. Notice there's the picture I just took. And here is that dark one of the deer. You have pretty much the same editing tools on the computer as you did on the phone. You just have to click on this button. As you hover over it, you'll see that it says edit. And this picture just needs to be brightened. That is generally works by just clicking this suggestion. Notice the first option here is suggestions. Enhance. Oh, I like it. That's great. I just click save. Now let's look at the next picture. This one, which is crooked. You fix that with the crop and rotate tool. You still have to go to edit first. And then the tools that are up here are suggestions, crop and rotate, tools, adjustments, filters and markup, a whole bunch of them. I encourage you to just explore. I'm just going to show you basics in this one. Crop and rotate is how you straighten a photo. That is click and hold on the zero right below the photo. As soon as you click, you'll see a grid pop up. Then you just drag left and right until it looks straight. Now I also want to crop out some of the road. So I'll just grab a corner handle here and bring it in. I like that, but it looks a little muddy. I wonder if enhancing would help. I'll click back on these suggestions and enhance. That made it a little bit bluer, but it's still a little mushy. I want to show you one of my favorite tools called Pop. You tap on this adjustments 
and there's all sorts of them. Just play with them. I particularly like pop. If I drag the slider over, notice what happens. It just, you know, goes from muddy, muddy to sharp. It just pops. I like that. If I want to see what the original looked like, I click and hold, and you see how muddy it is. Then I click, I like it, I click save. One more, how about these lovely ladies, and we can't even see their faces, they're so dark. But if I brighten the whole picture, that sky is going to be completely washed out. Here's what you do. Edit, and then adjustments. And I only want to brighten the shadows. That's what this option called shadows is for. I drag the slider over to the right and it brightens our faces without washing out the sky even further. It's a little muddy. How do I fix that? Pop. Drag pop over and we've sharpened up a bit. I can click and hold to see the original let go to see my edited version. I like it. I click save. Now this next picture I want to edit is I love this picture of me and Jim on the beach, but what are these people back here? I could crop them out, but then I've cropped out part of the sunset. There is a feature in Google Photos called Magic Eraser, which will remove them, but it's only available on the mobile app. So I'm going to go back to my phone. And first of all, notice that the edits I made on the computer are showing on the phone. They synchronize. These photos are stored in the web, and when you work with them on the website or on the phone, they synchronize with each other. So here is that photo with the people in the background. I want to use Magic Eraser. Edit. Tools and Magic Eraser. It investigates the photo and it suggests maybe I want to get rid of these people. See how they're highlighted? All I have to do is tap Erase All and... Now this was taken in the Bahamas and I would like to have the Bahamas written on there. There is a tool called Markup and Text, but this is one that is only available on the Android app. And once again, you have to make sure you're using the Google Photos app, not the Samsung Gallery app. So I go to Google Photos. I find that photo that has been edited. So notice even on the Android, and I did the removal on the iPhone, those people are gone. So here is that photo on my Samsung. I tap Edit. And now I have to find the markup tool. Now that you have to scroll way over. There's suggestions, crop, tools, adjust, filters, and there's markup. Now I don't want to draw on it. I want text. And I type Bahamas. And then I tap, when I'm done typing, I tap outside of it. Now I can move that wherever I want. I could also change the color. It has to be up to change the color. Uh, I think I like the blue. And I'll put it over here. I might need to resize it a little bit. That's the two fingers there. And when I like it, I tap Done, and then Save Copy. And that's your only choice when you're doing some of these editing tools require you to save a copy. If you want, you could go back and delete the original now. I'm not going to worry about it. So that's how you make your photos look better. Do not be satisfied with the photo that you took when just a couple of taps or clicks can make it beautiful. Mm -hmm.